All right, welcome back to Return to Asheron's Cult. This is going to be episode 19, where we're going to continue on with 25C, which is the middle 25 uh, facility hub quest. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Before we do that, I want to go ahead and use the experience I got. In my last video, again, we're going to be using Venom Strike, who is my light weapons melee character uh, for this quest. He just runs a little bit faster than, and stuff like that, so we can get through these some of these a little bit quicker and easier. Makes a little bit shorter videos uh, than my War Mage, who's a lot slower. But anyway, um, 577,000 experience. We're going to go ahead and use that up here. Look at our skills. We see that light weapons is a combination of strength plus coordination. So we're going to go ahead and probably... Look at how much it costs to raise that. We're going to go ahead and... I wonder how much 10. Probably quite a bit. We're going to go ahead because a lot of our... So many of our stats require these, though. I'm going to go ahead and buff these up by 10. They're so important. And that pretty uses up pretty much all our experience from the last one. Let's see. Maybe go ahead and add some quickness. Go a little faster. Move that up by 10. We pretty much we're pretty much done with over half a million. As you can see, these these skills start taking more and more points all the time. So, you know, you seem you get 571,000 experience. You're like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> it's really not at this point. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this warden here. He's gonna tell us basically that we need to go into the Bandling Conquest dungeon and recover a. Uh, and the Moss Fort Maze. We'll need to get a part of the uh, mace from each dungeon. Uh, before we do that, we'll want to go talk to uh, Oliver Rognoth in the middle of East Ham, and he's gonna we're gonna return to him once we have both the parts to put the two pieces of the maze together. So we're gonna go inside these doors. We'll see immediately that we have three dungeons inside this one. So the middle one is the one you want to go ahead and start with. So we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Or you have to do that first, anyway. You have to go talk to the NPC in East Ham. Kind of get the quest and the... Let him know you're retrieving the two parts of the mace. So once you go to East Ham here, you're going to run basically in here and... Evidently he's up here sort of by the... Uh, Gromy statue here in the middle of town. Battling statue, whatever it is. Yeah, battling. So it's this guy right here, uh, Oliver Rognoth. Go ahead and double click him. All right. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and go back to Facility Hub. We're not talking to the warden again. We're basically going back to Facility Hub so we can go through the second dungeon and go try to retrieve the shaft of the. Mace. Run back in here. Door still open for me the last time. Go to the Bandling Conquest Dungeon. Looks like the portal's right here. Right in front of you, basically. A little bit to the left. Alright, here we go. So at this point, I'm going to want to go ahead and switch to... I might fight a few of these bandlings in here just to get the experience. And to... Um, go ahead and uh, make sure they don't pile up on me too much. Bandlings are weak towards electricity, so I'm going to look for an electricity uh, weapon. This one is electrical. I think I have some better ones for electricity, though, here. Nope. Flashing. These guys aren't even hitting me, so... Make sure our buffs are still on here. Go ahead and take this guy out. All right, kill that guy. Basically, you're gonna come up here and you're gonna follow this entrance that turns to the right by itself. First option is gonna be left. 
And this is going to be a long corridor. You're going to follow this basically for quite a ways until you get to this room. So your first option is a left. You can get out here. And then in this room, you're going to want to turn basically right and then west. Experience here. As you can see, the lightning kills them pretty quick. So if you have a lightning, this weapon is not a major weapon or anything like that. It's only buffed with level threes. So basically, a left, a right at your first major crossroads. Here, you're gonna follow this, and till you get. Nope. Just gonna keep following it. it. Goes quite a bit further until you come up with another option. It looks like. Here, you are going to take a left, so left, right, left, so far. Keep following this around here. And we're running for most of these guys, it's alright. Here, you're going to see a big room, don't worry about any of that stuff down there. Don't take a right there, just keep going straight. Here, you're going to take a left. Pull that around, it's really the only way we can go. You're going to go down. You're going to go left here again. And here you're going to go left. Follow this on around. And you come into this big room. So basically, the only right you take is like one of the first ones. Every other option you have, it's a left. It takes you into this big room by just following the quarters. And go ahead and take out some of these guys here. I could just run and go and pick up the stick, it's right on the floor. It's not going to be looted to any of these guys. I'm just trying to get some quick experience here, so I'll probably speed this up. I'm going to go ahead and quickly check these guys for loot so I can try to get some more money. See if they have any more weapons that I can use. Alright, once you kill all those guys, just head to the back of the room right here. And looks like we've already killed all the bandolings in this room. Right in the back of the room right here is the shaft for your mace. You're going to go ahead and pick that up and go back to the facility hub. You're going to want to go back and get the other part of your mace at this point, And that's going to be the third portal. All right, guys, at this point, we're going to jump into this uh, third portal, which is the Moss Wart Maze. Just double-click it. You don't have to try to walk into it. Walk in a different portal by accident. And we're looking for the hammer part of our maze at this point. And I've never been here before, so it's taking a little bit to load. Portal's right in front of you here in the desert. Here looks like I got a couple of moss words. Had to step away for a second. Go ahead and wipe these guys out here. Okay, this one's really easy from the looks of it. Basically, we are going to come up here to the first branch off. We have three different ways we can go. We're going to take our right. We're going to take this as far as we can go. Don't worry about all these branches off here. Just keep going. And right here, at this little weird split right here, you're going to take a left. And again, again, you're just going to keep running. So a right and then a left, and basically keep running is all you need to know. So you see, you start seeing these lights. You know you're doing the right thing. Just keep going. 
follow it as far as it goes. It's going to turn left automatically. Just keep following it. And it's going to take you into one big room here. The hammer you want is right there on the ground. We're going to go ahead and wipe these guys out real quick. Golden back testers. I think these guys are level 30 or 40. But they shouldn't be too hard. I believe fire is the weakness here. I'm still on electrical for my last bandling dungeon. But not terribly difficult. Alright. And this is what you want here. The head of your mace. Check out our tuskers real quick. Get some loot. 9,000. I'll take that. Alright, back to the facility, how we go. We've now got our shaft for a mace and the head for a mace. And we're gonna run back. Go back to East Ham. Talk to our guy that we ever talked to at the start. Alright. He doesn't tell you anything. You're basically just going to want to hand him the two pieces of the mace, the shaft, and the head. Um, Alright guys, when you get here to this guy, um, if you try to hand him the shaft and the and the head of the mace like I thought you had to do, just hand him those, he just hands it right back to you. Basically you're just going to double click the shaft and then you're going to target the head or i think you can do either one you can probably double sh click the head and target the shaft it's going to you're going to put them together as you can see here you find you're able to attach the shaft to the stone in such a way as to form an ornate uh though unwieldy mace so at this point you're probably going to hand it to this guy and he's going to give you back the mace of the explorer so you're going to put them together first and then you're going to hand him your unwieldy mace. He's going to give you back the the good mace. Uh, so he's going to perfect it, I guess. So at this point, you're going to go ahead and go back to the facility hub. I kept trying to give him the parts of the, the uh, mace to put together. And he was just handing them right back. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take this to our warden. to complete this quest. Five hundred and seventy one thousand experience, uh, now level twenty seven. And we still have this uh, quest left. So we'll be doing that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave comments, uh, questions if you have any. Subscribe if you want to and uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody out.